Yellowstone National Park, home to breathtaking landscapes, incredible wildlife, and the largest volcano on Earth. Millions of people visit this beautiful place every year, drawn in by its stunning geysers and hot springs and its sense of adventure. But beneath its natural beauty lies a sleeping giant, a force that has the power to change the course of history. Today we're going to explore the dangers of the Yellowstone supervolcano and what recent discoveries could mean for its future. For years, scientists have been monitoring the activity at Yellowstone, looking for signs of an eruption, and now they've found something that could be a game-changer. Helium-4 gas, a rare isotope that is only produced by the radioactive decay of certain minerals, has been detected in increasing amounts at the park. This is a clear indication that molten rock is rising closer to the surface and that the pressure is building. But what does this mean for the millions of people who visit Yellowstone every year? Is there a chance that they could be in danger? In this video, we're going to explore what the discovery of helium-4 gas means for the future of the Yellowstone supervolcano and what we can do to prepare for the worst-case scenario. So buckle up and get ready, because we're about to take a journey into the heart of one of the world's most powerful natural wonders. Let us begin with what we already know about the park. Yellowstone National Park is one of the most incredible natural wonders in the world, spanning over 2 million acres of land across the United States. But what many people don't realize is that beneath the surface of this beautiful landscape lies a massive supervolcano, one of the largest on Earth. This volcano has the power to change the course of history, with the potential to cause widespread devastation and destruction. It has erupted three times in the past, with the most recent eruption occurring over 640,000 years ago. The supervolcano is so massive that it covers an area of over 55 miles across, and its magma chamber is estimated to hold over 10,000 cubic kilometers of molten rock. To put that into perspective, that's enough to fill the Grand Canyon more than 11 times over. If the volcano were to erupt again, it would have a catastrophic impact on the surrounding area, with potential consequences including ashfall, destruction of infrastructure, and loss of life. The impact would not only be felt locally, but could affect the global climate, potentially leading to years of darkness and cold temperatures. So, what is the likelihood of the Yellowstone supervolcano erupting again, and when could it happen? These are the questions that scientists have been trying to answer for decades and recent discoveries may provide some clues. Stay tuned because we are going to explore what those discoveries are and what they could mean for the future of Yellowstone National Park. The discovery? In fact, scientists have made a startling discovery that could change everything. They have found increasing amounts of helium-4 as in the park, a rare isotope that is only produced by the radioactive decay of certain minerals. This is significant because the only way helium-4 gas can escape the Earth's crust is through volcanic activity indicating that molten rock is rising closer to the surface. The discovery of helium-4 gas is a clear indication that the Yellowstone supervolcano is becoming more active and the pressure beneath the Earth's crust is building. While this doesn't necessarily mean that an eruption is imminent, it's certainly a cause for concern. Scientists have been analyzing the data and studying rock samples to try to determine what this increase in helium-4 gas means for the future of Yellowstone National Park. Some experts believe that the increased activity could be a precursor to a large eruption, while others believe that it could simply be part of the volcano's normal cycle. Regardless of what the increased helium-4 gas levels mean, one thing is certain. Our breathtaking national park is a ticking time bomb, and it's only a matter of time before it erupts again. The question is, how can we prepare for the worst-case scenario? The Implications of Helium-4 Gas one of the biggest concerns is that the buildup of pressure beneath the Earth's crust could lead to a massive eruption, similar to the ones that occurred in the past. If this were to happen, it could have catastrophic consequences for the surrounding area, with the potential for ashfall, destruction of infrastructure, and loss of life. But the impact wouldn't be limited to just the local area. A large eruption could have global implications, potentially leading to years of darkness and colder temperatures due to the massive amount of ash and gases that would be released into the atmosphere. This could have devastating consequences for the world's food supply and the global economy. But even a smaller eruption could have significant consequences. It could lead to widespread travel disruptions, including flight cancellations and delays, and could cause air quality issues for people living hundreds of miles away. But despite the potential for disaster, there are steps that can be taken to minimize the impact of an eruption like this. Scientists are working to better understand the behavior of the volcano 
and early warning systems are in place to detect changes in activity. In addition, emergency preparedness plans have been developed to help people in the surrounding areas prepare for a possible eruption. These plans include evacuation procedures, stockpiling of food and supplies, and sheltering in place instructions. While we can't predict when the next eruption will occur, it's important to be aware of the potential risks and to take steps to prepare for the worst case scenario. The discovery of helium at Yellowstone is a reminder that the volcano is still active and that we need to be ready for whatever it may bring. The monitoring. One of the key methods of monitoring Yellowstone is through the use of seismographs, which record the vibrations and movements of the Earth's crust. By analyzing the data from these instruments, scientists can detect any signs of increased volcanic activity, such as earthquakes, ground uplift, or changes in gas emissions from the volcano. Another important tool is the use of GPS satellites, which can measure even the smallest changes in the elevation of the ground. This data can provide valuable insight into how the magma chamber beneath the volcano is moving and changing over time. In addition, scientists regularly collect rock and water samples from around the park to analyze the chemical composition and look for any signs of increased volcanic activity. This information can provide valuable clues about what is happening beneath the Earth's surface. By closely monitoring the activity of this rising lava, scientists can better understand its behavior and potential for eruption. This information is critical for developing early warning systems and emergency preparedness plans that can help protect the surrounding area and minimize the impact of an eruption. Wow, that was a close call. The discovery of helium-4 gas at Yellowstone National Park is a serious wake-up call about the potential dangers to our planet. But it's also a reminder of the incredible power and complexity of nature. We may never be able to control it, but we can certainly learn from it. Scientists have been studying the Yellowstone supervolcano for decades, using cutting-edge technology to monitor its activity and behavior. And that means we can develop early warning systems and emergency preparedness plans that can help protect us in case of an eruption. So don't worry, folks. As long as we stay vigilant and keep an eye on the situation, we'll be ready for whatever the supervolcano throws our way. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll even figure out how to harness the power of the supervolcano for good. Hey, stranger things have happened. So keep your heads up and your eyes open, folks. The future is full of possibilities. And as long as we stay curious and prepared, we'll be ready for whatever comes our way. Until next time, stay safe and keep exploring. Give this video a thumbs up if you found value in this content and SUBSUIBE to for more.